typical pet is not pulled. Um, and you know, usually we don't have an option. You have to clip the dog and you never card it. But if you have an opportunity to card the dog, card the dog every time. And I promise you within the next few months of grooming that dog, the texture will start to gain its, its uh, full potential, 100%. Of course, it's always gonna be soft in there, but it's always good to maintain that, that texture because it just makes your dog look better. It is part of the breed standard, and it is also healthier for the dog. So if you can encourage the client to uh, rather convert or stay with this texture it's supposed to have, it's always good for the dog. It's always good for you. You feel a little better when you groom the dog and uh, he feels a little better. So I'm gonna go ahead and start carding him. I'm using a typical traditional hand stripping knife, a coarse knife. Uh, the teeth are not too separated, nor are they too close together. And one common thing I find is a lot of people don't know which side uh, to use. Uh, whether if it's a lefty or a righty. So a lot of people don't understand that all these are righties and how to tell on a righty if I'm right-handed and I'm pulling with my right hand is the flat side is where your thumb should be on. So there's a flat side and there's a knife side. I like to call it the knife side or comb side. The flat side is where your thumb should be pressed upon. Uh, for carding, the comb side should be flush to the body. It's very important to make sure your carding side is flush to the body. If this is not flush to the body when you're carding, it will break the coat. Breaking the coat contradicts the whole point of carding or pulling. So we have to make sure if we're gonna card or pull that we do it correctly. So we're encouraging the follicle to do what it's supposed to do.